Okay, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the American Cultural Center. My name is Chris. I will be the uh, teacher tonight. Okay? And uh, tonight we're going to be uh, speaking about the American sports culture. Okay? Um, all right, first, a little about me. Okay, my name is Chris, and I am from Los Angeles, California, and I've been here in Moscow for one year and eight months. I cannot speak Russian, but I can, I can say some words, so uh, some good words, not bad words, but uh, okay. Uh, what else? Um, I love sports, I do. Um, when I was a young boy, a teenager, a young man, and middle-aged man now, I still play sports, I do. For example, I live at Tikstilshiki, and there, yeah, I live at Tikstilshiki, and there are basketball courts and some volleyball courts. I play basketball. I've been playing basketball since I was a young boy. I think I'm okay. And uh, the good thing about basketball is, um, for example, the people I play with, they are Russians. <laughs> and they don't speak English. I don't speak Russian. But we speak the basketball language. <laughs> I understand how to play basketball. They understand how to play basketball. So we do not need to talk. We just look at each other. <laughs> and, we, and we use gestures. And that's it. The same with volleyball. Uh, with volleyball, I play with, uh, well, I play with Central Asian people. I don't know why, but uh, around my neighborhood, no Russian people, all Central Asian, uh, Kazakhs and Uzbeks and Tajiks. Uh, they all play volleyball, but they don't play basketball. I don't know why. But it's the same thing. They don't speak English, and I don't speak Uzbek, Kazakh, Tajik, you know. But anyways, but we... Um, we understand the rules of the game, so um, we understand the game. We don't need to speak to each other. So anyways, let's get back to sports. Now, um, like I said, I've been playing sports a long time, and today we're gonna be uh, talking about the American sports, co sports culture. But before we begin, can we do some warm-up English, okay? Um, just please introduce yourself to the people around you and uh, just introduce yourself and maybe talk a little about sports. What sports that you like? Can you do that? Just for maybe about a minute. Just introduce yourself. Let's warm up with some English, okay? Please, just introduce, yeah? For example, hello, my name is Chris. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay. Sports. My name is... That's okay. That is my sister. My sister is sports. Um, oh, that's fine. That's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's Yeah, yoga? Absolutely. My mom loves tennis. So, yeah. No, swimming is a sport, and I love swimming too. I swim in swimming pools, or the ocean, rivers, lakes, my bathtub. <laughs> well, okay, that's a sport. That is. Uh, okay, so you do like one sport, swimming. Okay. Yeah. Cycling. Very nice. I cycle too. Yeah, I have a bicycle in Los Angeles, and when I go home, I ride my bike a lot. So in the hills or at the beach. So yeah, I ride my bike a lot. Yes. Nice to meet you. That's fine. Uh, well, how often do you yoga? How often do you practice yoga? What? Uh, about once a week? And then how long is like one session of yoga? Is it like one hour or two? Or one and a half hours? Okay. And yoga, how often do you uh, practice yoga? I'm sorry? Oh, every day? Wow, every morning you practice yoga. 
And how long? Do you pass like one hour or? Okay. It depends on how you feel. Okay, it depends on time. Yeah. Okay. Well, very nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Chris. Nice to meet you too. Um, do you enjoy sports? Yeah, I do. Okay, what sports do you do? Oh, uh, oh, dancing. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Hip hop dancing. Wow, okay, alright. I like sports. Well, 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 right now we're just warming up English. So we're just talking about sports. So, yeah. What else? Well, I. Competition. Yeah. Okay. I had two yes. for two hours, so I had my Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Hello, Chris. Nice to meet you. Uh, what kind of sports do you like? I'm small for volleyball too. It's beautiful. But I am a little small for volleyball. But I practice other like setting and other skills for volleyball. Because usually in volleyball, See, I do other things. I, I set and I play. Yeah. And I serve. Hey, hello. My name is Chris. What is your name? Nice to meet you. Um, what's what's sports do you and basketball. <laughs> nice. Looks good. All right. Very good. What sports do you like? Okay. And you like swimming? Very nice. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's. Listening to films and music. Speaking with Americans. All right, let's uh, let's continue on with the class now. Okay, so American sports sports culture. American people, we love sports. We do. We love we love uh, like uh, baseball and NFL football, American football and basketball, and NHL hockey, and uh, just many sports. But tonight, we're, we're, we're gonna talk about Americans' uh, favorite sports, but also recreational sports. Do you understand recreational sports? Okay, so we will talk about professional sports, but also recreational, okay. So let's, let's continue. So, okay, Chris, Los Angeles, California, blah, okay. Uh, I played American football, baseball, basketball, volleyball, tennis, swimming, water polo, and surfing. So I played many more than that. So, okay, let's continue. All right, well, the number one sport in America is the NFL, National Football League. Um, there are 32 teams, 32 teams, from New York City to now Los Angeles. Um, Seattle to Miami, all over America, there are uh, NFL football teams. And the number one team, they won many championships, the Green Bay Packers, 13 world championships, very good team. Um, in 2016, the Denver Broncos, uh, they are the world champions now, okay? and. Uh, NFL started on August 20th, 1920. So the NFL is old, it is. But this is a special day right here, August 20th. Why is that special? Started on. But yeah, but there, it started, and August 20th is a, is a major holiday in America. Big holiday. Thanks. 
No, it's my birthday. <laughs> August 20th is my birthday. But uh, 1970, not, not 1920. All right, so um, the New England Patriots, the New England Patriots, they're from Boston or around Boston. And most people love to hate them. What does that mean? Love to hate. Get used what? to hating them. I'm sorry, one more time. Get used to hating them. Yeah, getting used to hating them, okay. But getting used to it, it stronger feeling. You love to hate them. Oh, I hate them. You know, you don't love them, you love to hate them. So, and many people love to hate the New England Patriots. I love them. They're my favorite team. I love the Patriots. Right there. That's their that's that's their logo or their symbol. The Patriots, right there. And um, the this person here, he's the quarterback, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. He's tall. He's strong. He's handsome. And he's my favorite player. And his wife. He's married, and he has a beautiful supermodel wife. And his wife is Giselle Giselle Bunchen, right there. And she is the supermodel. And when I was walking, where was I? I was walking in a supermarket. What was it Bila or something? Look at Tom Brady and Giselle. <laughs> yeah, right here. I can't read it. I don't understand it. But uh, yeah, there's Tom Brady and Giselle. I was like, oh my God. Okay. What what is this? What happened? What is going they're on? They're married. Yeah, they're married. Ah, yeah. no. Um, there's gossips about the divorce. Oh, uh, that's gossip because they're not divorced. So, so this magazine, okay. Is yeah, this? it's just a, like yellow tabloid. Yeah. It's a tabloid magazine. Ah, okay. All right, so OK is like a tabloid magazine. All right, I was shocked to see Tom Brady and, and Giselle in, in Russian. You know, I was like, wow, OK. So I bought it. Uh, anyways, all right. <laughs> OK. Now, <clears throat> let's continue. OK, baseball. Yeah, MLB, Major League Baseball. Um, is America's yeah, second favorite now. It started in 18. 1845. So baseball is old. It's an old sport. And right now, 30 teams, New York City, Los Angeles, Miami, Seattle, all over America, there are baseball teams. And this is the most famous baseball team. Do you know this team? Yes. Yankees. The Yankees, yeah. The New York Yankees. So right there, there's the N and the Y. New York. So the New York Yankees are the the most famous baseball team. And they should be famous because 27 world championships. That's a lot, 27 world championships. And they are the most, uh, most popular baseball team. They are, I don't like them. I like Los Angeles Dodgers, that's my team. So, okay, so now, auto racing. Auto racing is popular in America. You know, driving cars. So you have right here NASCAR, right here NASCAR National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, and you have Formula Racing. So there's different uh, racing cars in America. And for example, here is NASCAR. Okay, this is called NASCAR right here. And uh, this is Formula One. So they're different racing cars. And um, let's see, NASCAR is popular in different areas of America. All America likes NASCAR? Nah. Nah, like California? Nah. Um, or the West Coast? N not really. Uh, we don't like NASCAR. Not popular. NASCAR is popular in the South, like, uh, like Florida, Georgia. North Carolina, that area of America, NASCAR, it, uh, well, okay, this is a formula, but NASCAR, let's go back. Yeah, NASCAR is very popular. And Formula One uh, is popular in Indiana, like Indiana, Illinois, and Formula One 
auto racing is popular. But uh, car racing, popular all over America? No, uh, not really. But um, do you like, does anybody like uh, racing cars? Does anybody? Uh, you like Formula One? Yeah? Yeah, I think it's interesting. Okay, next. Uh, horse racing. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Horse racing is popular in America. Um, all over America? No. But California, Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, like West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, different states. We, uh, we like horse racing. The most famous one, the Kentucky Derby. Um, the Kentucky Derby Festival is a big party for like two weeks. It is. It's a, it's a big party. Um, mostly for rich people. Yeah, it is. It's mostly for, for wealthy people. Um, and it's called the most exciting two minutes in sports. Uh, because once the bell rings and the doors open, the horses, they go for about two minutes, just riding fast all the way around for about two minutes. So everybody is screaming and yelling and betting money. And, <laughs> yeah, my horse, ah, oh, my horse. And um, the Kentucky horse racing started around 1875 in America. Um, I don't know, is there horse racing in Russia? I, I don't know. Oh, there is? Uh, okay. Uh, where? Like which cities? Is uh, Moscow. Oh, Moscow? Well. Yeah. Okay. So there's a yes. horse track? Yeah, there's a horse track. And Can you bet money? Yes. Oh, yeah? Because I thought gambling was illegal in Russia. No, it's legal. It's like uh, different areas? Race, yeah. Okay. The, the gambling, like casino. Oh, like a casino. Ah. Casino, this is a prohibited. Ah, okay. Not a horse race. All right. So, for example, like casinos, it's illegal. Yeah, it's but illegal. like horse racing is it's, legal. It's legal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. So there's horse racing uh -huh. in... I got to go there. Uh, I got to <laughs> check that out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Go check out some uh, horse racing. Okay. So there is a picture of the Kentucky Derby, right there. <clears throat> the most exciting two minutes in sports, especially if you if you bet on the the number one horse and it's winning, yeah, then it's exciting. All right, and um, the owner of the horse gets two million dollars. So if you if that is your horse, and your horse wins. Yeah, two million dollars. That's yours. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, let's see here. Okay, so NBA, NBA basketball, like very famous. I've been an English teacher many years around the world. I've taught uh, um, just many, many different countries like uh, Korea and China and so on. And uh, NBA basketball. It's everywhere. It is so famous, especially in China. They love NBA. Okay, uh, so NBA, National Basketball Association, started in 1946. The Boston Celtics, uh, the most popular team, I guess, 17 world championships. There are 30 teams, New York City, Los Angeles, Miami, C uh, no, no more Seattle, but all over America there are there are basketball teams, okay? And usually, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player, but now some say LeBron James. Maybe, can be, in the future, the greatest basketball player. Okay, so for example, right there, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they won the NBA Finals, what, two days ago? Just, just like uh, like Tuesday or something, or I forget. But they are the champions right now. They're, they are the champions. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. Um, Major League Soccer, MLS. Major League Soccer started in 1993. And there are 20 teams all over America. And the LA Galaxy, five championships right here, LA Galaxy. Yeah, they're my team, my my soccer team, right there, the LA Galaxy, five championships. So, um, MLS is is popular 
it's getting more popular. Every year, more money and uh, more popularity. So MLS, right there, LA Galaxy. Is it because David Beckham is so handsome? I, I think so, maybe, maybe because David Beckham is uh, very handsome and he's very popular and he, he, he went to the LA Galaxy and yeah, uh, many people bought tickets. Only for them. Uh, maybe, yeah, <laughs> but uh, he was good. He was, he was an okay player uh, for the LA Gax Galaxy. He was okay, but when he was younger and playing in England, oh, he was, he was really good, so. And there we go, MLS, Los Angeles Galaxy player. And hey, who's that right there? <laughs> That's me. <You? laughs> yes, that is me right there. Um, I forget how old I was. Um, geez, was eight, nine years old. Um, and yes, I loved soccer. Uh, when I was a young boy, I played, um, geez, like eight years of soccer. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's me. <laughs> And what else? And that's me playing soccer in China, <coughs> right there. So I still play football. I still play soccer. But now I'm fatter. I'm bigger. <laughs> so now I'm a goalkeeper. So yeah, I'm not running no more. So OK, and wow, he's a handsome kid. Who is that? Um, <laughs> yes, that is me. I was playing baseball. I don't know. I was maybe 12 years old. And I played uh, like 10 years of baseball. So, yeah, baseball is a good sport. Um, and football, right there. And this is me right here, bam, right there. That is me playing some football, American football, a long time ago. <clears throat> and yeah, football um, is hard. Do you have any questions about American football? Any yeah, questions? The rules. We don't know, we don't know the rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so this is called American football. Uh, soccer is uh, soccer. Uh, we say soccer in America, and the the rest of the world says football. But yeah, um, and this is not rugby. Uh, some people get rugby and football mixed. But uh, if you see helmets and shoulder pads, American football, rugby. They don't have helmets. There's no helmets. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so American football, it is very difficult. It's, it's not just throw the ball or, or run with the ball. Mm -hmm. There are plays. And everybody has a job. Like, um, I had a job. He has a job. Everybody has jobs. And you must do your job to be successful. Um, okay, for example, right here, I my job was to push him on the ground. <laughs> that was my job, and his job is to run, but he tripped. <laughs> so he tripped, but I did my job. I pushed him on the ground. Yeah, um, but for example, okay, so American football, uh, you have the quarterback, and he throws the ball and you have somebody catch the ball and run with the ball. So uh, about the why is it called football then? Because football, we know that uh, you have to kick the ball, but yeah. not to uh, throw, throw the ball. It yeah. isn't football then. <laughs> it is something else. Well, see, um, it's called, um, how can I say something? Um, I'm trying to remember the history of American football. Um, OK, in England when some British people came to America, mm -hmm. they brought rugby and football rules to America. And then some people put it together, rugby and football together, and made American football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's basically about it, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, just some different kind of rules and things. Um, but why do we call it football? Yeah, you're right. I mean, football, football, kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the sense game, uh, you have a penalty uh, that you need to kick the ball through the gate? Yeah. Um, okay, so there are penalties, yes. And um, kicking the football through the... Um, right. Yeah. But that's not part of the penalty. That's a different part of the game. 
No, a penalty, uh, if you do something bad, like let's say um, uh, in American football, you, you go forward with the ball, always going forward, running forward, passing forward. You go, go, go down the field. A penalty, then you have to go back, and then back, a penalty. So the penalty takes you back and back and back. That's, that's a penalty. So um, I wish I had more time to talk about American football. There are so many rules, uh, and it, it is dangerous. It is. It's a dangerous sport. Uh, I, I broke bones, like my fingers right here broke, broke, broke. Yeah, so it's it's a dangerous sport, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and yeah, that's me playing some basketball right there. Um, yeah, there I am again playing some basketball. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, California, best place for sports and outdoor activities. Yes, this is my opinion. Uh, California the best place for sports and outdoor activities. It is, and I will argue with anybody, I will debate anybody, any place in the world where you can go skiing, snowboarding, surfing in the same day. Where can you do that in the world? <laughs> Sochi. Nah, you cannot go surfing in Sochi. There's no surfing. Yeah. There's no surfing in There's Sochi. There's windsurf. There's windsurfing, but not surfing. Okay. Yeah. So I will debate anybody a better place than California for sports. I'll debate anybody. How, how do you like Moscow climate? How do I like it? Yes. Ah, yeah, it's okay. Um, I like the seasons. Because in Los Angeles, we don't really have seasons. Um, I mean, we have like a small winter, very small winter, um, hot summers, uh, springs. It's it just it just kind of blends in, you know. In Los Angeles, it, it doesn't change, mm -hmm. but in Moscow, you can feel the change a, into another season. You know, I like that. This yeah. is the reason because uh, Russians are so patient because we are always expecting and waiting for the two week summer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so um, here's a, a picture of California. So once again, um, right, for example, uh, here's San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and you can go surfing right here. You can pretty much surf anywhere. Go surfing here, and then you can go skiing right here. Mm -hmm. Just drive your car uh, two, two hours, 30 minutes, three hours, and you're skiing. So for example, I, I have woken up at 5 a.m., I've gone surfing and then, you know, two, three hours surfing, go to the beach and then go home, eat lunch, drive my car to the mountains and go skiing in the same day or snowboarding in the same day. So, and, excuse me, yeah. there are sharks where you... Yeah, yeah, there are sharks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, California does have sharks, that is true. So. You, Got to be careful about that. I've never met uh, one or maybe two of them. Oh yeah, you've seen sharks, or yeah, have I? Uh, you, you. Um, yeah, actually I have. I've seen sharks, uh, small ones, oh. but I've seen sharks. Yes, I have. So, and here's a picture of LA, and there are the mountains, a couple hours away, and there's snow. Does it snow in downtown? No, but it does snow in the mountains right there. So, all right, let's see. Yep, so right here. Here's the beach, so you can go surfing, and then you go go skiing. Yeah. Not many places in the world you can do that. Okay, so there it is, some surfing. No, that is not me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Yep, okay. That's all right. So that was some sports, some popular sports, like like I said, like uh, football, American football, NBA, and baseball. Now, let's look at some recreational sports. Maybe, please. Okay, good, all right. Okay, recreational sports. So, recreational sports, it means sport activities that are fun 
and good for someone's health and mind. Recreational sports. Um, water sport activities, scuba diving, snorkeling, underwater hunting, surfing, and body boarding. Those are some of my sports. Yeah. I love water sport activities. I enjoy them. I love the water. So for example, scuba diving. Scuba diving, um, S-C-U-B-A, self-contained, underwater breathing apparatus scuba. And then many types of scuba diving, shipwreck, cave, um, underwater photography, those are types of scuba diving. So shipwreck, what is that? What do you think shipwreck <coughs> is? Shipwreck diving. Probably they go out in the ocean, okay. on the open waters, okay. and just go straight down uh, to where it's from the ship or from the boat. Okay, yeah, you are correct. A ship has sunk, and so a scuba diver can go down into the ship. Shipwreck diving, right there, shipwreck. Um, cave diving, underwater caves. That is dangerous, you must be careful about that. And then underwater photography, um, which, is, which is great. I, I'm a scuba, uh, master, I'm a master scuba man. Um, I've done shipwreck, cave, underwater photography, I've done this. Um, it's great. Scuba diving is a great feeling when you go underwater. The colors and it's quiet when you're underwater. It's quiet. You hear some little snapping, little clicking sounds, but it's really quiet and it's beautiful underwater. It is. Um, let's see. Okay, some equipment. Mask, snorkel, fins, boots. Gloves, wetsuit, air tank, regulator, octopus, uh, BC, dive computer. Those are just equipment. Scuba diving is expensive. It's an expensive sport. Yes, very expensive. So that is me right there. That is me in Bali. I was in Indonesia right there. That is Bali. And uh, yeah, scuba diving is awesome right there. and the water is just great. It is so warm. The, the water is so warm, not cold at all in Indonesia. And you gotta be careful. <laughs> no, that's not a real, that's not a real picture. But I like that picture, it's funny. Okay, um, so scuba diving, it's only been around since the 1950s, right there. And scuba diving is not old, an old sport, but the 1950s. And there are, yeah, scuba diving is dangerous. Ruptured eardrums, eardrums. Your ear inside is your eardrum, and you can pop it. <clears throat> you gotta be careful. Um, and your sinuses, in your nose right here, you have sinuses, and they can bleed. So scuba diving is dangerous. Um, you can get the bends. Like for example, if you're underwater, and you go up, up too fast, it'll hurt you. It will, it'll hurt you. You have to go slowly, slowly back up. You cannot go fast or you can get hurt, called the bends, because you're like bending like this, uh, or you can die. Um, and nitrogen narcosis, you're drunk, like you're underwater and you're, you're like drunk. It's called nitrogen, nitrogen narcosis, or drowning. You're, that's it. So scuba diving can be dangerous. Are there any scuba divers here? Any scuba divers? No. It's dangerous, but it's fun. <laughs> it is. Oh, snorkeling. But that's fun. I like snorkeling. Um, so just some equipment right here. Scuba equipment. Yes, it's expensive. It is. Um, that's a shipwreck right there. So you can go. Uh, like under here, you can go swimming, uh, scuba diving in here, uh, shipwreck. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. Yeah, there's another ship, and you can go in the ship. Yeah. So yeah, shipwreck diving. 
little scary. It is, and uh, gotta be careful. Um, what is this? What what diving is this? Cave. This is cave diving. Yeah, very dangerous. Very dangerous. I've done this. I've done this in Mexico, and you have when you're when you're swimming, the caves. You're swimming, and then oh, this is nice over here. Oh, this is nice, and this is nice. Okay, ah, let's go here. Ah. Uh oh. No way out. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. And then you look, and your air. And I go, oh God, you know, my air. Oh, and you're like, I, I think this way. No, this way. And then my air. Ah. And, yeah, you got to be careful. So cave diving. So a lot of us, we use string right there. We use the string. You'll have, you can hold on to the string like this. And then you can just go back like that. So cave diving. Um, yeah, cave diving. Okay, snorkeling. So you've been snorkeling, yeah? Uh, who's been snorkeling? Yeah, many people snorkeling, snorkeling. Yeah, God, I love snorkeling. Been doing that since I was a young boy. Um, me and my family would go to Hawaii, and I would go snorkeling in Hawaii, and it's beautiful. Yeah, all the fish. You know, all the different colors and fish. It's awesome. Snorkeling is great. It's you? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, no, nah, I don't know her. So. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, so, snorkeling. Where did you go snorkeling? Where did you go? Ah, you went to the Red Sea. Red Sea is great, isn't it? <gasps> The Red Sea really? is such a good place. <coughs> nice. And where else? Indian Ocean? Or, yeah, near Maldives. Oh, the Maldives? Yeah. Jeez, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maldives, expensive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else went snorkeling? Yeah. Where did you go snorkeling? Um, it was in Thailand. So nice. Near the islands. Okay. It was very beautiful. What a great place. Thailand, Maldives. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Who else? Anybody else? Is snorkeling? Really? Yeah, where did you go? Oh, you went to the Crimea. Oh, yeah? So you went to the Crimea for snorkeling, yeah? So the Black Sea. The water. Is it, is it cold water? Depends on the season. It depends on the season, yeah? Okay. All right. But what about, it's called visibility. Can you see far? Okay, so. It depends on the place. Uh, it depends on the place? Yeah, because uh, it's, uh, some recreation zones, this uh, water is quite big. Okay. On the crowded beaches, it's not possible. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, all right. I can see that. All right, good. Uh, so snorkeling, uh, very popular at tropical resorts. Uh, in America, Hawaii, and California, very famous for snorkeling. Um, snorkeling is very easy. Swim and breathe through the snorkel. It's an easy sport. Um, usually, snorkel with a friend. Why? So right here, snorkel with a friend. Why is that good? She's kind of dangerous. Yeah, okay. I okay. Yeah, you're yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, because snorkeling can be dangerous, and if you are snorkeling with a friend, you can help each other. Yeah. Okay. So it's always best to scuba with a partner or snorkel with a partner. It's always best. Okay, um, let's see, let's do, okay, more snorkeling right there. All right, yes, underwater hunting, nice. Okay, so underwater hunting, what do you think that is, what? Okay, so. Do I take my guns and shoot and shoot the fish? No, so not a gun. Huh? No, just kind of sticky. You're close. It, 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 yeah, it's not a stick. Yeah, I forget the word. Yeah, but you're close. You are. Some kind of spear? Like a spear. It's called a spear gun. A spear gun. And yes, I do this. I I I underwater hunt. Yes, that is me right there, and that is my that is my spear gun right here, and um, that that is me right there. 
Um, yeah, kind of like a flatfish, yeah. And this is Mexico. I go down to Mexico a lot. Um, for one thing, you don't need a, a permit in Mexico. In California, if you want to fish or, or underwater hunt, you need to buy a license. But in Mexico, you go down there, just shoot them. <laughs> it's, it, it's okay. Um, so yes, so yes, I underwater hunt. I, yes, I do, and it's 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 fun. It is. It's fun. Um, I go underwater. I swim around. I see a big fish, and I shoot it. I take the fish. I go. I go back up, and then I I cook it on the barbecue right there. Onions, garlic, salsa. And I eat it. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah. So, and it's fresh, fresh fish. So, okay. And no, that is not me right there. But uh, that's another gun, spear gun right there. Underwater hunting. So, okay. Yeah, we need to. Let's see. Um, these are just some big fish in California right here. Some really big fish. Like, I mean, like big, big fish. Okay, and surfing and bodyboarding, and I'm sure you know about surfing. Uh, famous uh, surf spots, Hawaii and California, uh, very famous for surfing. Has anybody surfed? Anybody try surfing? Uh, I will try. You'll, you tried, yeah? Yeah, we'll, we'll try. Oh, you it will try. Fun. Yeah, try it. Surfing's fun. It is. It's fun. Uh, that's not fun right there. <laughs> that's, that's scary right there. That That's scary. It's but, uh, huh? It is California. Um, this is California. Yeah, this is California. So you got to be careful. It can be dangerous. Yes, it can. Um, yes, that is me right there. That's me. And I was, how old was I? Like 19. I was like 19 years old right there. Uh, that's California. And that is called... Uh, Body boarding. That's a body board, not a surfboard. That is body board. And I like body boarding a lot, just like that. And that is not me. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, body boarding. Um, may I ask, it's yeah. not body boarding because you lay on the board. Right? Yes. Uh, but on surf, you just stand and go through the wave. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, all right, so some famous uh, spots for surfing are right here. Pretty much all of California, bodyboarding and surfing. And um, Florida, Florida right here. North Carolina, there is some surfing right here. <clears throat> and of course in Hawaii, there's surfing all over Hawaii. So these areas are really good for surfing and bodyboarding. Okay, and uh, okay, so let's talk about some volleyball. I love volleyball, I do. Mm -hmm. I play indoor volleyball and I play beach volleyball. That is me, I'm playing some, I'm playing indoor volleyball right there. I was on that when I was an English teacher in China. I was on the Chinese uh, Chinese volleyball team. <laughs> and that is me playing beach volleyball a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. I think I was 20 or 21 years old. And that is uh, that's not Los Angeles. That is that's Orange County. So you have Los Angeles and San Diego, Orange County, right there. Yeah. And all right, these sports. What are these sports? What are they? <coughs> like this one? What is this one? Jet skiing. Jet skiing. Oh, I'm sorry. Windsurfing, right there. <laughs> so that is windsurfing, and that is jet skiing. Does anybody windsurf? Has or tried windsurfing? Anybody? No? What about jet skiing? Anybody jet ski? Yeah. Oh yeah, you tried? My husband. Uh, where where did you try jet skiing? In Montenegro, in Chernobyl. I only um, said 
behind my husband. <laughs> uh, okay, so you didn't drive it. No. You just sat behind him. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's okay. But where? Where did you jet ski? In Montenegro. Oh, Korea. Montenegro. Yeah. Both ah, okay. All right, nice. Did you like it, jet ski? Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Okay, good. And here's just one of the islands near California, right there. So, yes, California has islands. Yes, we do. And you can, you can take boats and ships to the islands. And uh, here's a lake. You can go scuba diving in the lake. Or, yeah. And big rivers. America has huge rivers. So you can have your boats, your jet skis on the rivers. And yes, California, we have sharks. Right there, there's a hammerhead. Hammerhead shark, dangerous. Yes, they eat people. And yes, we have these right here. Uh, white sharks. Yes, we do. California, we have white sharks. And we have these. Stingray. Stingray. They don't kill you, but they hurt you. Yes, they do. On their tail, right here, the tail. When, for example, you're walking in, into the water and you step. You step on the stingray, the tail, smack, just, and you're like, ah, and then, then there is a stinger, a stinger, and you have to pull it, ah, yeah, it hurts, so you have to be careful. Um, sea turtles, yes, sea turtles, um, yes we do, killer whales, yes we do, we have killer whales, but they're far in the ocean, they don't, yeah, they're far. Um, octopus. Many octopus, crabs, lobsters, seals, uh, dolphins, and whales. Jellyfish. You gotta be careful. Jellyfish are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. And eels. Here's an eel. Be careful. They will. They will bite you. Yes, they will. That's it. Okay. Good. All right. <laughs> California. Um, <laughs> what time is it? All right. So we will talk about some other recreational sports here. Please. Okay, more recreational sports. Uh, okay, so more water sport activities. Water skiing. Water skiing. Right there. Yes, that is me. That is me, water skiing. I like water skiing. But it's difficult for me, it was difficult, because you sit, you sit, and you hold, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go, go, and then the boat, okay, and then you have to pull, and your legs, your legs are like this, so you pull, and your legs have to go straight mm -hmm. at the same time. Pull and straight up. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it wasn't easy. But then it, I practice and practice, and then uh, water skiing, I like it, I do. And th this is California, right here. Anybody water ski? Yeah? Where did you water ski? Where? We have wakeboards near Moscow, so it's the same. Ah, okay, so there, um, okay, so yeah, wakeboarding near Moscow, yeah? So like a, a lake, right? A lake, it's to the Kranivish, I don't know how to say it. Like what is uh, it's a lake, yeah? Yes. And what is the That's name? Artificial lake. Ah, it's man-made, a man-made lake, artificial lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Did you like it? Do you like water skiing? Yeah, it's fun. It is. You should try it. It's a little hard, but it's okay. So water skiing, it's popular in America. It is. Many people water ski. <coughs> <laughs> okay, now water skiing is popular um, like California, Arizona, right here. There's a river. And so uh, it's popular here. And some other areas, Oregon, Washington, um, Texas, uh, Florida. Yeah, water skiing is popular. It is. 
It's a, it's a fun activity. All right, now some desert, desert activities. We talked about water activities, now some, some desert activities. Like off-road riding or all-terrain vehicle, ATV, dune buggy. So these are, these are like cars. These are like motorcycles and cars. Okay, so for example, um, oh, did you want me to go? Yeah, okay. So these are like desert activities. Okay, equipment, equipment, helmet, gloves, boots, goggles, chest protector. Chest protector, what is that? Okay, so your chest, it's like, yeah, it protects your chest, okay, all right. Um, helmet, yeah, uh, gloves, boots, uh, like a mask, a chest protector, uh, another chest protector, and yes, that is me right there. <laughs> this is me and my father. So, long, long time ago, long time ago, and in the desert, yeah. California, we have a desert. We have a big desert. It's called Death Valley. Death Valley. Nice name, Death Valley. Um, so yeah, me and my father riding um, ATV, riding, riding motorcycles, yeah. So I think I was like seven, six years old. It's a long time ago. And that is me right there when I was a teenager. Yeah, I'm number one. Yeah. <laughs> and once again, it, no, not me. But uh, this is this is a, a dirt bike, like a desert bike, a dirt bike. Uh, really popular in America. Riding uh, motorcycles or dirt bikes. You cannot ride these in the street with cars. It's illegal. Only in the desert or in the dirt. You cannot ride those on the street. No, cannot. Uh, well, there we go. <laughs> so you have children riding uh, dirt bikes and doing tricks. So many people, many people ride these. It's fun. Has anybody rode a dirt bike, a motorcycle? Anybody? Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. Where? Here? Like in Russia? No, no, I was in the USA and I tried it uh, in uh, New York. In New York? Yeah, but not the center of New York. Yeah. It was like a uh, village. Oh, it was like a village. So did you ride a motorcycle? I uh, rode, uh, I drove, I'm sorry, I drove uh, ATV and dirt wow. bike. Nice. Did you like it? Was it fun? <coughs> it was a lot of fun, but yeah. uh, I was close to um, crash my phone. Mm, okay. Uh, you got to be careful. Uh, they can be dangerous. If you crash, you can hurt yourself. So this is a dune buggy. This is kind of like a car, a dune buggy right here. Not cheap. These are expensive. Dune buggy. Do you, are there dune buggies in Russia? No? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I thought maybe, you know, go down to Dagestan and dune buggy <laughs> or something. In the, in the Caucasus or something. Go south where there's desert or something. But, okay, so, yeah, dune buggies. All right, and once again, um, motorcycles, dirt bikes, all right around it here. Uh, very popular. Uh, where where there's dirt, yeah? New Mexico, Texas. Actually, you know what? It's popular all over. It really like it really is. Dirt bikes, oops, um, and dune buggies. Uh, they're popular all over America. Yeah. Okay. Mountain activities. Mountain climbing. Yes, that is me, right there. <laughs> that is, I was mountain climbing with one of my best friends. Um, I taught him scuba diving, he <coughs> taught me rock climbing. Um, anybody rock climb? Yeah. Rock climbing? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I tried. Where? Where were you? Yeah, in Moscow region also in, um, in Spain. Oh, in Spain? Yeah. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Did you like it or was it scary? Oh, I, 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 I like scary stuff. Oh, you, you yeah. do enjoy scary yeah. stuff. Okay. 
Yeah, it was okay. A little scary for me. Rock climbing, yeah, it's a little, for me, a little scary. Uh, but um, I tried it many times. So rock climbing, right there. Can be dangerous. So some equipment, like a helmet, ropes, a harness, right there. Are there any like famous <coughs> rock climbing in Russia? I know one American. <laughs> you know one American girl.